Coming up, two noted directors with films in the San Francisco International Film Festival. We'll be back. Welcome back, everyone. There are plenty of great films to see in San Francisco the next few weeks. And joining me now are two people who are part of this creative extravaganza. Cruz Angeles and Barbara Edinger are both directors. Their two films were selected to be part of the San Francisco International Film Festival, taking place now through May 7th. It is the longest-running film festival in the nation. Now, Barbara and Cruz, before we begin, let's uh, uh, take a quick peek at the trailer for this year's festival. Great. Let me start with you. There are more than 150 films selected for this particular festival. What does it mean to get chosen? This is your first time, huh? Yeah. This is well. This is my first time at the festival, and it's you know, it's for me, it's amazing because I feel you know, I, I went to UC Berkeley, and I feel like this is where I became a filmmaker while I was here, and I've been dying to screen in the Bay Area, so I'm really excited. My co-writer, producer, is from the Bay Area. She's from Oakland, so. We're very excited for our first screening tonight. Coming home, then. Coming home. Yeah. Well, Barbara, let's start with you, and I want to take a look at uh, a, a clip from your film, A Sea Change. Terrific. Look right out here. Follow my finger. There he is. Do you see it? Right out there. you see it? It just came up. It'll come up again. There he is. Oh my God, look out there. That's right. Oh, oh, that's that's huge. so close. I know. That is big, big, big. <laughs> Barbara, tell us what inspired you to create your film? It's huge. Looking at this little clip, which is so touching and so oh, moving, and, and certainly in part, it's our grandson that inspired us to make the film. Uh, in fact, my husband and I had gone into temporary retirement. We had no intention of making another film, at least for a while. We just finished one and were exhausted. Uh, but we picked up a copy of the New Yorker magazine, and there was an article by Elizabeth Colbert called The Darkening Sea. And that article was about this phenomena called ocean acidification, which we had never heard of before. Uh, and it was so dark and so frightening, we doubted that it could possibly be true. Uh, and we immediately began to reflect on what it meant for our grandson, for our children, uh, what it meant for the planet, and it spurred us into action. Got you out of retirement it then. Immediately got us out of retirement, exactly. Wonderful. Cruz, let's, let's take a look at a clip now from your film called Don't Let Me Drown. Yeah, I guess you're not scared of it then, right? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, babe. Thank you. You're welcome. Ooh, this is hard. It's good, it's good though, right? Gosh. Yeah, exactly. You like them, right? Mm -hmm. All right? You gotta be chilling with those Mexicans, yeah? Jesus, can a brother get a word in? Please. What's up, John? Why are you crying for, B? Why need you two to go on a double date with me and Lisa? What? She won't go out with me unless it's another couple with us. No, we're not a couple. It ain't like you two ain't acting like a couple already. Oh, you want a mango? Oh, I'll get it. Oh, you like it spicy? Oh, yeah. Oh, you like it? I love it. Man, help a brother out. Yo, Steph, you're my cousin, girl. We blood. What's going on here, Cruz? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, this, you know, it's, the story, it, it's a love story, and it's about these two kids who, you know, are, whose families are being directly affected by the aftermath of 9-11. And, you know, he, the boy really tries to, you know, to get with a girl, but she's, she's having too many problems at home. And instead, they become friends, and through that friendship, they, they fall in love because they realize that they have a connection to the wound, which is ground zero. Um, his father's working there, he used to be a janitor in the World Trade Center, is now be, uh, has been recruited to work in the cleanup, and she lost her sister um, in the 9-11 attacks. But it's really about two kids finding a way to escape from the madness that's plaguing their city. Let me ask both of you, what is it like to watch 
filmgoers watch your work? It's an extraordinary experience. I, I, I do love to sit in the back of the theater, and, and I'm looking for every shake of the shoulders, looking for a laugh mm -hmm. or, you know, somebody wiping a tear from their cheek. And every time that happens, it's like magic for me. So I, I love being there with the audience and experiencing it through their eyes. And Cruz? For me, it's really hard to stay in the theater because all I can focus on, on is just all, all the mistakes. You know, I see my mistakes, and it's it's really. I mean, I've seen. I've been in the editing room for like you know six, seven months editing this film, so I usually step out. You know, and I usually get a sense of the reaction to the film afterwards. You know, and that's so. It's Still, two incredible films, just two of 150 that is at the San Francisco International Film Festival. Barbara Edinger, again, the director of A Sea Change, uh, Cruz Angeles, directed Don't Let Me Drown. Both of those films part of the festival running through May 7th, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, at select San Francisco theaters. And again, you can see yours, uh, let's see, April 27th and April 30th at the Sundance Kabuki. Is that right, Sea Change? And then Don't Let Me Drown is uh, April 26th and Monday, May 4th at the same theaters. And uh, this is just wonderful. I was so glad that we had a chance to take a look at those at the, those clips. And, uh, and and good luck to both of you Thank making you. many, many more. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. For, For sure. more information, uh, you can log on to cbs5.com slash Sunday and click on uh, SF International Film Festival. Stay with us, Dining Out for Life. That's